and my guy Cozy Views. You know, we had to make this Burner Boy show. Came out of Orlando. It's about to be a vibe tonight. Got my guy in the city. We enter the tunnel. I feel like NBA players. Cat Williams. Cat Williams come out the floor. Team from Tell me you're coming tonight. Boys getting ready. Me and my nigga Cozy Views heading down to the biggest festival in Miami this weekend. If you don't know, now you know. There's a lot of ads playing. I thought the song was going to drop, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. All right, now we're ready. Let's go! This is what I was listening to. Yo. Young Daddy Yankee nah, and Young Nicky James. Why would niggas shit on Daddy Yankee? I'm like, nah, y'all know the, the new Daddy Yankee. Yeah. The Daddy Yankee with the funny mustache and Nicky James back in Puerto Rico, skinny Daddy Yankee. That was my guy when yeah, I was coming yeah, up, man. Yeah. That's <sighs> usually like their, their prime time, like their, like their golden That was time. it, bro. That was it. I'm going to take a shot with y'all because I got to get back to this music and I don't want this video to get copywritten already. <laughs> <laughs> Crack that. Y'all heard that shit. This is early morning views, bro. The all seeing camera, early morning views with cozy views, taking some shots on the way. We're gonna save it for one. Let's go. Steady. <laughs> Goddamn. I try to hold a cool face. I try to hold a cool face. Cut. Cut. <laughs> you're saying that little nigga, I try to kill the nip by Henny? He was like, cut. Cut. <laughs> when we were still recording. <laughs> the funniest video in history. Yeah, well, facts. That's you wanna shot now or you wanna? Nah, I guess I'll wait. One quick little celebration shot. Next time y'all see us, we're going to be turning up. You know not next time you see us, because there's no way I'm not going to talk to y'all for that long. But today, you will see us at Vibre Obama. Today, you will see us at a major, major, major festival. This is a legendary weekend, because I just saw Burner Boy yesterday. Today, I see Don Omar. Dale! Dale, gom, dale! I'm already practicing. Ande, digan que soy. Un mandelero, ande, boy. Con mis ojos colorado, y con mi gato activado. I'm telling you, nigga. Don, don, don. That's my guy, bro. When y'all niggas listen to all this Bad Bunny, all this new shit. I'm an old head. You know, there's still there's some niggas in New York still dressing like Jim Jones. My cousin Jonathan, shout out to you. That nigga still dressing like he 03. Still listening to Jada Kids today. Some niggas are still listening to the locks that like they just dropped yesterday. I'm that nigga when it comes to the reggaeton. Nobody's topping Wesley Young there. Nobody's topping Plan B. Nobody's topping Daddy Yankee. Nobody's topping Dodo Ma. Nobody's topping Tego Calderon. E wasa wasa. Unless you a female. That's the only one topping any of these niggas. Favorite artist of all time. So, bro, I'm not going to lie to you. When it comes to reggaeton, one of my literally favorite artists ever. Don Omar, for sure, for sure, for sure. And Tego Calderon. Those are one and two. I don't know who's one and I don't know who's two. But those are one and two for me. My entire existence of living. Still to this day. When it comes to reggaeton, there's nobody I would put over Don Omar and Tego Calderon. That's personal to me. I'm not saying they're the best ever. I'm not saying they're the biggest. They're my personal favorites of all time. So the fact I get to see at least... I already saw Tego. Tego's the first concert I ever went to. I went to the Wasa Wasa tour like 12 years old. That's what started all this shit. My pops caught me that shit. But that was like... I went to that. Then never went to shows again until the age of like, what, 16? From 12 all the way to like, not even. Like, yeah, like 16, 17. Until I saw the weekend on Kissland tour. I saw the weekend and, and uh, Kid Cudi. That was a historical weekend too. Because I was a young bull and I used to shit like that. Shout outs to you. You know who you are. But, um... Yeah, now, now we now we do this shit like water. We about to head to the show. I'm going to tap back into y'all. I'm going to twist up, burn up, get the pregame rolling, and I'm going to hit y'all when we closer to the event. Boy, Smack DVD finally wore the Donda. Finally wore the Donda Sports. Oh, sorry. You said VIP through here? VIP is right here, but you can't go in. Oh, no problem. That's cool. Sorry about that. Yeah, you tried. I tried. I tried. <laughs> Every untaken shot is a missed shot. I forgot what Michael Jordan said, but it's something like she, that. She found me. She got me. She got me. It's cool. I did pour the shit. 80% Jameson. Yeah, clink, though. Yeah, clink. Clink, clink, clink. Oh, my God. I don't want to kill this. I'm on my diet though. You killed it already? I have so this is like my fourth cup already. Chug, 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 chug. He got it, he got it. Ugh. See what happened.
happens, bro. We were the first on the line, not the line big as hell. We were the first on the line, not the line big Yo, as hell. Yo, facts, now we're the last one on the line. <laughs> My nigga Cozy Views got the first round. We got to get another one. We got drinks. We, we boys is lit. Boys is lit. Boys is lit. <laughs> Check, so let's just fuck that and get straight in. I'm gonna try to get that to the best footage. So today's vlog might not be the best vlog ever because I'm trying to save my memory to turn up. And we got Bimbola blunts, niggas been hiding fucking six blunts in their nuts. We got testicular nuts, so well, actually, testicular blunts, rather say. My guy, Cozy Views, we in here turning up. About to get to the Amazon stage to see what's good. I'm gonna turn up with y'all tonight. Shout out Don Omar, shout out Maluma, and shout out everybody out the fuck out we gonna see. Also, Shorty got a bias jersey right here. Shout out to her. Fire. VIP check in. Me and Cozy Views walk to the GA like we don't know who the fuck we are. All seeing camera, nigga. I'm never GA. General these fucking nuts, nigga. When y'all see VIP, y'all see me. Y'all trying to bump into me, go to the VIP. Always, wherever there's a VIP is where I reside. That's crazy old school. <laughs> nah, that shit hard though. The old range. The old range. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Ogre takes shoot with smack, still smack. You know, you wake up the next day, you're like, God damn. I thought I slept this shit off. Ugh. And I gotta show you guys the funniest story. Actually, when I'm coming back to the whip. So my nigga Ariel, right? My brother from another mother. Yesterday, I'm like, we bought a fifth of Jameson. He was the he was the he was the bartender. You get me? I let my man's bartend. I let him rock. I wasn't I wasn't man Michael managing him. He was the, the, the man of the bottle. I was like, I bet. But we had to show this nigga pouring my cups and shit. We pre game before we walk inside. And I got smacked, like smacked. So I'm at the whole event. Like I still did my shit, still recorded everything. But while I'm recording, I'm like, nah, I'm usually like, I'm always smacked. I'm always cool, always lit, but I was smacked. <laughs> so in my head, I'm like, yo, it's your body trying to tell you tired, bro. It's your body trying to tell you tired. You've been doing event from event, from event, from event to event, bro. You haven't even relaxed no weekends. Like every weekend I've been booked and busy. So that's what I chalked it up to. Like, I bet that's probably what it is. My man's is like, yeah, bro, we still got half, more than half of the fifth left. So we good. We don't even got a cop nothing. I was like, I bet. I woke up like, damn, I guess I was just on some lightweight shit yesterday. Bruh, 
bro you want to see what half of the fifth is i come looking for the bottle right look at the half of the fifth look at half of the fifth look at half and this nigga was like yo i'm smack too bro i don't know why we so why we so we didn't eat we didn't eat, nigga. It was a pregame, bro. The game became, they became the main event. The, the, fuck the pregame. That was the main event. The main event. And by the time we got inside the event yesterday, we didn't even have time to hit none of the little food stands because we was outside pregaming too much. So we had to get straight to it. Go inside. We was smoking like crazy, bro. Half a Jungle Boys in two days, which you know I do that shit on a regular, but on an empty stomach and with eighty nine percent of a fucking Jameson. On an empty stomach, that shit ruined my food yesterday. Like I ate one time, bro. I ended up eating tacos like Winwood. I'm like, y'all was fiending. I'm like, bro, I need Winwood tacos. We ended up going to Winwood to get some tacos and shit. After that, I came back to still edit for y'all niggas because that's what the fuck I do all the time. Lit and all at like four in the morning, super baked, <laughs> deprived of sleep. But I know I have to get back to this today. So even when I'm lit, I'm being my peas and cute. Even when I'm lit, I'm like, we got a job to do, baby. So I always tell myself, drink responsibly. Cause you still got a job to do. Shit still gotta be done, shit still gotta be blogged, shit still gotta be recorded, this event. Niggas always be telling me, you gotta, you gotta just enjoy your event, you know? I do enjoy when I see that check come through, nigga. that's what I enjoy. Also, if you guys know us, we've been 0 for 2 in the last two rolling out cause we book our shit the day before the event. If you guys need tips, don't ever do that. California, I stayed in a crack hotel. Miami, another crack hotel. Anybody knows that? Plaza Hotel de la Sol. I don't know what the fuck it was. Plaza Hotel on Fort Lauderdale. Shit is negative 10 stars, bro. Now, now, now I know why it was everything available. So then I walked down this dungeon of a hole yesterday, bro. At like 5 in the morning, 4 in the morning. Mad lit. Like, damn, Mario. Here we go again. I thought we was walking to another crack room. But nah. So it's a little... It's like a crackhead. That, you know, you know, you used to be a crackhead, but then you found God and moved to the church, you know? You see? They 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 did something in here. They did something in here. They did a little something in here. I'm like, all right, bro. That's how you know we've been having the worst fucking Airbnb experiences. <laughs> but I'm like, nah, this ain't the worst. Oh shit. Man, just look 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 at my hut. Look at my mess, bro. I jumped in that shit, knocked out, threw some deep thing on, fell asleep. This thing is still playing eight hours later. You got your strings up. <laughs> Alright, man, I gotta go take a shower, roll up. Nigga said, we got bread. 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 That's why, niggas, I'm still lit. Still, the next day. Big ass cigar. Nigga, that's your toilet of Ariel. <laughs> God damn. Vanna Cigar Factory. You know where we at. You know where we at. Here with Cozy for day number two. Day number two. About to go see Nikki Jam today. Shit's about to be legendary again. Me and the boys, so yo, yesterday was a legendary day for me too. Like, even more for my culture wise too, cause I'm not used to that shit. Like, I really never been to a Latin show like that. I seen Dego, I told you guys when I was a kid. And and I don't remember nobody but Dego, like an actual reggaeton and shit like that. Bro, this is a whole rolling out fest. Also, by any point, my face look ashy or some shit. We gotta hit a CBS or some shit, cause as you guys know, I'm dark skin. So I need lotion. We thought the Airbnb was gonna have this. Let's see what happens when you just travel with two guys, bro. We ain't bring lotion, none of this shit. My skin feel like it's about to break apart if I move too sharply. We need food, bro. In Havana, though, you know, every time we in Havana, we always go to the same junction. There's a whole bunch of spots. There's even a spot across the street. Or oh, Cozy said something actually earlier that was real, real smart that I thought about. You ever been starving? eat some shit and they're like damn i didn't hit the spot i should have went to my spot across the street and he was right with that because i be feeling the same way i'm trying to find a crosswalk crosswalk you may ask yeah in case we get smacked i get paid more always scheming let me show you guys a little havana if you guys never been here before so i'm gonna flip this on y'all and i just found the crosswalk That's where we went with our med. You remember that shit when we came with our med and everybody? Yeah, bought yeah, cigars yeah. and brought it back cigars. home. I remember walking around in there. They were rolling them shits by hand in there. Yeah. Damn. Damn El Pablo kind of packed like a yeah, bitch. You yeah, want to yeah. go somewhere else? Let's go somewhere Yeah, fuck it. Let's go somewhere else. All right, bro. So God wanted us to try a new spot. I guess it's not only our favorite restaurant in Havana. 
That shit was jumping like Jordan. Got a limeade to go with my lime churrasco. <laughs> oh, we about to eat. Oh, the boys is about to get it done. Day two, Vibra Urbana. We didn't eat well yesterday's while we got so smacked. Today we had to do it the right way. El Pub, y'all gotta come and check this shit out. This shit is not fun, bro. We try to get a small bottle because we killed the fifth yesterday. We should have just left it alone. That was a sign from God. The fifth was done. We should have just chilled, kept burning. My stomach still feel all types of crazy, but thank God it's been holding me down. And then you know what we do? Instead of going to get Pepto-Bismol, we get Jameson nips. Oh my God. We got six of them. Why? 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 This one I got to... For y'all that know the video, the... God! God. That's when we, we gotta put that shit in right now so y'all can. That's how I'm about to be with. Mm -mm. You ready, brother? Not, love? Not, no, I'm not ready, but. I mean, I'm never gonna be ready, you're right. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, my God. Let's do this. Oh, shit. This is not gonna I don't wanna do this. I'm not gonna lie, you can take the other three in the plane. <laughs> oh, oh, man. All right. Yo, this shit smells gross. Liquor was so fun yesterday. Today is not. It's just torturous. I don't like. It wasn't that bad. Eh? It was good. You killed the whole shit. Yeah. Nah, it's, like not... a, it's like a shot. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Yo, this it's nigga. Like a shot. This nigga killed Bro, the whole it? shit on my camera. So now I gotta do it. Cause now, yo, you see, that's what I need though. I need shit like that. I need friends <laughs> like that. Cause that was kind of a battery. <sighs> Damn. Now I really can't be the cut nigga. Bro, you gonna put all that pressure on my back? <laughs> Alright. God. I knew that sounded the My my inside is uh, fucking uh. I'm Hot gonna, as hell. I'm gonna shit myself, bro. I'm gonna drink one of these. It burns. Mm. My chest. I think I got a couple of chest hairs. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was gross. It wasn't gross, but this is this is the premium one, right? Yeah. So it shouldn't be as bad, right? You're done for another one. Fuck no. You can kill it. Kill it nah, for us. Nah, nah, nah. Kill both. Uh, kill all three. Nah, kill. How many we got left? Four? Fuck no. <laughs> oh, my chest is on fire. I got I got heartburn. Uh, we drank too much yesterday. I'm not the same man I used to be, bro. Because <laughs> when I could, wish I could tap in 18 year old Ralph, the nigga that wasn't even supposed to be drinking. Yo, take over. Oh my god! Even twenty-one year old Ralph, even twenty-two year old Ralph that lived with you. <laughs> nigga, we, my mom cried when she walked into our apartment <laughs> with the empty bottles. <laughs> yeah, bro. I had an apartment with Ariel. My mom walked in and looked at shit like a seance. It was just empty bottles of Jameson everywhere, kitchen floor, living room floor, on the living room uh, table. Yeah, was... There was on top of the TVs. There was on the nightstand. There was everywhere. Just Jamesons. Like, what was we doing with all them shits? Uh, yeah, we were saving was... them in case the world ended. We had to put poems inside, <laughs> <laughs> float them away in the ocean. <laughs> I don't know what we were stocking up for. In case we went broke, we were going to take this to Massachusetts, get quarters. <laughs> I don't know what our plan was. But my mom walked in and saw that shit. She went crazy. Yeah, she yeah, like she that, walked outside right? and started crying, nigga. Literally crying. Anthony, you don't got to live like this. Go home, please. Yeah, now we was living wild, though. You don't have to live like this. We was living wild, though. Was like... Now, we are still living wild, but just living wild and comfortly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Killing nips in a fucking festival parking lot. <laughs> uh, my stomach's on fire. It was already on fire before. 
man. Six was a dumb idea. I don't even know why I did it. And I actually I it for reinsurance. Yeah, it was like I was that that asked. Like, yeah, should do it? And I was like, yeah. He had the four, and he said, okay, does this? And I was like, ah. you think two will be enough? Two more, you think? Who the fuck did I think I was? <laughs> Look at what you guys. I'm thinking about grabbing that tee. I wanted that hoodie, that shit hard right there, but it don't got the tours on it. Or the people that were here rather say. I think I'm gonna go with that old school whip one because they got. Yeah, I see everybody in the back. That's only gonna rock it right there. The bedazzle hoodie cool, but I told Ari I need way more t-shirts. Another successful fest, another successful fest. I'm gonna get hit by the go kart for talking to y'all. Grab some merch with you. You know, we'll take a little deeper look into a little TBT vibe. I'm gonna get hit by the go kart. I love the successful work for the books. Definitely smacks. Yo, bro, saw on the weather and I wasn't even expecting that. I was telling my man, I'm like, bro, I really saw the, my two favorites. Other than Tego Calderon, man. It's between him and Don Omar for sure, for sure. And I think Don Omar takes number one, Tego takes two. Due to consistency and just smackers. But yeah, it's all him and I know it the same week, and that's crazy. And anybody that's been a rolling loud at any festival, this is the worst part, bro. Sitting in this line trying to get your car out of this shit. Thank God we still got some blunts and shit we gotta burn. Oh, you about to see me get smacked in 3D. Oh, I see niggas turning back there. Really, that's what we're doing again today. Let's do this quick. We gotta get out of here fast. Oh, th today though, we all the way up there though. That's the L. I forgot. Remember, we got close up. All right, man, I'm gonna tie it back with y'all. See y'all. As soon as, as soon as we get back to the crib, I'm gonna start editing all this. We're gonna do a little merch, a little wrap up. But I definitely enjoyed this festival way, 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 way more than I expected. We've been Obana for sure. I'm gonna be here every year. That shit was, it was turn. And they treat the VIPs like VIPs. Rolling out, gotta take a note. Niggas had the GAs in back of us, like they should. Like they should. Rolling Loud is the only weirdos that puts VIP in back of GA. Like, how that make sense? Where's the whip? All right, man, I'm gonna tie back with y'all because we a little smack. And now I gotta try to find this whip amongst a car of C's. Or a sea of cars, rather so. All right, we out. Yo, this was crazy. Like, bro, it was comparable with Rolling Loud on enjoyment level. Like, if I compare this year's Rolling Loud compared to this year's Viva Urbana, it was comparable. And I thought it wouldn't even be in the same room.